Good morning, this is Janice Perkins, and I come to you today starting the Hope Chronicles Part 1. Um, why? I have no idea, except that I felt a burden this morning to share something more uplifting and to look on the bright side of things. And hope is something I love talking about anyway. And why not now when we need hope to grow and swell in each of us as well as in our culture, society, and the world at large. So the first thing I wanted to talk about in regard to hope, well, I actually, this is the inspiration this morning. I'm wearing my Kansas City Chiefs Championship Super Bowl t-shirt, and it made me think about expectation in regard to hope. And first of all, science tells us that at hope in our brains, in our minds, if we want to get better at something, we should pay attention to it. So if we want to get better at worrying and anxiety, then we should keep worrying and be anxious. If we want to get better at hope, then we should start hoping more. So um, the two things I wanted to talk about today um, in regard to especially the Kansas City Chiefs, um, but relative to hope, is that we should have expectation in history. So history is when you want to hope more, pay attention or think more often about a situation in which you were hopeful, positively hopeful for something good to happen and it came. And that history benchmarks our mind for further and future expectation. So find something in history, whether it's sports or relative to something that happened in your personal or professional life in which you had history of hopeful expectation and it came to fruition. And that's something that you can dwell on and think about when you tend to be anxious in a time like now. And if that's the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl, so be it. Um, the other one is expectation and I am a word nerd. And so I have done a lot of history on the word hope and I can't pronounce it correctly, but in Italian, le aspettativa it is the Italian word for hope and it means expectation. And in Greek, elpis is the word for hope and it means to anticipate with pleasure. And so if we're really going to have hope, then we have to be waiting in expectation with positivity. We have to be looking forward with pleasure. We have to be expecting a great outcome, not anxiously awaiting for the sky to fall or the other shoe to drop, um, using different phrases in our world. But that's kind of what it feels like today. It kind of feels like there's this burgeoning cloud that's gonna to continue to grow and bad things are coming. Whereas if we really wanna be hopeful and place our minds in a more positive atmosphere, we have to be waiting in positive expectation for good things to come. So make a list of those things, Make um, set your mind on good things and then hope grows and we get better at growing hope when we dwell and think about hope in positive expectation. Hope this is helpful. I have no idea. I use the word hope in the sentence again. Hope Chronicles part one out. Have a great day.